So I'm pretty certain at this stage in the game, you've gotten your hands on Luke FZ's Frame Generation mod, whether you supported him on Patreon or got it via the leak. Um, and I just want to emphatically state, I'm not leaking the file. It has been leaked in mass by a whole bunch of gaming Discord servers. I'm merely going to be showing you in this video how to install it into various games. Before I do that, guys, what I will do is in the description of this video, I'll put the same link. You can follow this and if you can afford to, I highly recommend uh, donating or, or joining Luke's this, uh, uh, Patreon because the work he's doing really is breathing new life into all the cards. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it into seven different games. Uh, I'm going to provide a link to my, uh, to my Google Drive. It's going to be to this frame gen folder and then you're going to find seven different folders here. Um, it's got individual files for the games and then you can just place it into your gaming folder. So let's get to it. In the description of this video, there will be a link to my Google Drive. Just go ahead and click that. That's going to bring you to my frame, a frame gen folder. Just go ahead and double click on the Alan Wake 2 folder. And then go ahead and highlight all the files and folders here. Go ahead and download that. Once you have finished downloading it, the folder with the files should look like this. Go ahead and copy those files. Locate Alan Wake 2 on your hard drive. And then within the root folder of your game, just go ahead and paste that. And okay, I've already installed it earlier, so um, yeah, that's what that was all about. So once that is done, enable signature override, just go ahead and say, say run, yes, okay. Now before we launch the game, if we just launch the game now, it's gonna um, it's gonna crash. What you need to do, and unfortunately you're gonna have to do this every time you boot Alan Wake 2, in my experience so far. Go to your start menu, just type in show, and then click on show hidden files and then show settings and then just make sure uh, it's you probably gonna have don't show click show hidden files and folders hit apply once you've done that go to your c drive go to users go to your username go to app data go to local and then scroll down until you get to remedy Go to Alan Wake 2 and every time you launch a game you're going to have to delete this renderer file or render any file because this is what's actually uh, crashing the game once you have all those files installed to your Alan Wake game. So once you delete this, look what happens now. So now once you've installed all those files, once you boot up Alan Wake 2, lo and behold, the game actually launches. Um, so I'm going to show you now which the best settings are. I am using OBS, so I just want to switch over to GeForce Experience. So once you're in the game, you'll notice that frame generation is now enabled. But because uh, some scenes are quite heavy, the ghosting is quite bad, especially on the GTX 1650 laptop. So to make it easy on your GPU and to minimize um, the ghosting, uh, you're gonna have to drop uh, the, um, the the DLSS or the fake DLSS to performance, and then you're gonna have to switch off motion blur, form grain, and then we're gonna put global illumination on low. We're gonna switch off screen space ambient occlusion, um, and then we're gonna switch all these off and put scattered object density on low. So unfortunately you'll notice the game doesn't look as pretty anymore, but you'll notice that the ghosting has mostly vanished or it's minimized in any way. And the frames are pretty damn decent. But if this is a little bit ugly for you, what you can do is just come back into options, go to graphics, and then the thing that's going to make it look a little bit better is just to put on global reflections. But you can leave off a screen, uh, uh, screen space reflection so as you can see we've generated frames and uh yeah you're getting about 20 extra fps there is some ghosting but at least now i can say that i have found how to put frame generation and make two and generally in this scene no matter what you do on a gtx 1650 laptop you're going to be getting 25 maximum 27 frames and anyway so yeah we are at 60 frames there is some ghosting but 
at least the game is playable. So I just go through those settings again. Guys, remember, every time you launch the game with frame generation in the Alan Wake folder, you're going to have to go to your username, local, find remedy, and delete the render any, or else the game won't launch. So just to show you what to set those settings to, to minimize ghosting, render resolution on DLSS to performance, put it on the low preset, set everything to low, switch off global, no, switch, leave global reflections on low, switch off screen space reflections, and then set everything else on the low setting. And as you can see, now there is some ghosting, but the frames are stuff load better. And I think I hear someone. Uh, it's not the worst experience in the world. Hey.